Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147 and it's Whip and Chat Sunday or Whip and Waffle Sunday, should I say. I am still in the same place on the Dreamer Designs. Um, I did think about doing a Paint Gem Mini today um, for a little bit of a change. However, the only ones that I have done the video kitting up for is the mystery set, is the mystery two set. So that's kind of not the vibe I'm going for. I don't want to spoil it for anybody that has not yet done it. So I'm back on my dreamer designs painting um, and I haven't had chance to work on this this last week. I am, I am very close to being able um, to finish the other project that I've been working on that has taken any diamond painting time that I've had, albeit it's not been a lot of diamond painting time, but any time I have had has been taken up with this other project. Um, but I'm very nearly finished. On that so maybe you will see more progress the next time I do this one we shall see I don't actually have that much left to do so I'm hoping that in this whip and waffle I can at least get um, this section finished which means I will be on the final stretch and the final stretch I will be working on two pieces of cover paper tall at a time rather than taking two pieces off longwise um, or maybe even more depending on how much time but yeah it will be sort of the final 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 stretch of getting this done um, it's been in my, it's been ongoing for a while this one but really not too long considering I've been doing a couple of other diamond paintings alongside it but I do always love de-kitting and kitting up a new large painting there is really something about it uh, and I say I may fit in another small one in the future I don't want to neglect my small diamond painting stash um, so yeah I might add one of those into the mix in the future but I am enjoying letting my decision wheel pick which one I'm working on. Uh, so I am using my new lights again today. Most of the feedback from my heaven and earth design is that occasionally there is you can see a little bit more of shadow of like my hands and things however it's not too distracting sometimes that can actually give a bit of perspective uh, they do say it is brighter now my lights do have settings on percentage of brightness so I might mess about with the brightness just a little bit um, to see but it definitely gives me more space on my desk there is no way I would be able to have my because I'm working on this far side there's no way I'd be able to have both my diamonds and my computer on my desk when working on this painting. Normally I've had to bob my diamonds, squeeze them onto a little shelf beside me, often clearing a load of stuff off it to be able to do so. So it's nice to be able to get everything on my desk a little bit easier. Um, so yeah, we'll persevere and see if we can get sort of the right the right sort of level of lighting it is a little bit brighter it's definitely shining off the diamonds on this painting quite a bit more um, I can see them shining off the glue more even as I'm working on it but they do also tilt so maybe it is a matter of I need to tilt them up or down um, just to get the right angle on that as well. Um, I think 
I did uh, when I edited the, the video for yesterday for the shop launch items. I think that has more shadow than it should. Uh, I think I left my overhead light on. I can't be sure. I can't be positive that I did. Um, but I think there's a lot more shadow than there normally is um, with these lights. And yeah, I think I left the light on in my craft room, uh, which is behind me. And it creates a lot more shadow when that's on than when it's off and I just use my filming lights. So it's a little bit of a learning curve. I'm gonna see if I can make it work because as I say, these lights take up a whole lot less space than the others. Um, and I'm gonna try a lower brightness as well because maybe that will take a little bit of the glare off for me um, as well as for you but as long as you can still see what I'm doing and I know a lot of you when especially when it comes to whip and chats aren't always looking at what I'm doing anyway <laughs> you're often doing something else um so yeah I might try filming a couple of videos with the brightness lower in fact, let me have a look and see if I can edit that now. So excuse me, I have to turn this to get to the right level. It's trying to see the screen. Oh, there we go. So that was brighter. So if I go down to 60% on that one, wrong way. Trying to get them exactly the right amount, but it seriously nudges between one and the other. So let's try that. That's 60% brightness. Um, I don't know that that's hugely different. But anyway, I will keep reading your feedback, but try and keep reading out the feedback specifically um, to a more general response of feedback to stop it being the conversation for too long um, but you guys are the best judgment on how the lighting's looking until we get a nice sweet happy happy path when it comes to lighting uh, so I'm using the orange zesty tray uh, requested by a few people but definitely by Cher uh, has requested it quite a bit I don't want number one why was I even looking for number one I want to do the orange oh actually it's because number yeah number one's not on AB I want to do the orange first um, so comments etc uh, we're starting with a longer one so Lizzie, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says she's had a good weekend. Uh, she's had a family barbecue for her dad's cousin who came over from Australia. Uh, she said it was a good party, but now she's regretting it um, with her thumping headache when she has woken up. Um, she's now happy that she's back to diamond painting because she didn't do any on Saturday. Uh, she says she started the old waterway cottage from Dreamer Designs, which is an 80 by 60 square drill. And she is already halfway. That is sun going. Uh, she says she's loving how it tur it's turning out and it should be finished in a week or two, um, as she finds that she's quite fast if she's concentrating on the diamond painting and not whatever she's watching. Uh, she highly recommends um, Kat's diamond painting putty um, in the scent Pear Drops. She says they smell exactly like the sweets. It's always good to find a nice smell that reminds you of, especially of it when it's of a, you know, 
maybe a bit more of a childhood memory maybe though pear drops are definitely just as good as adults as they for adults as they are as kids uh, it just normally starts in childhood and keeps going into adulthood um, she says makes her want to eat it although it's not of course edible uh, she says but it smells she says far too good um, she says she hopes that I am thoroughly enjoying this canvas as it's coming out beautiful she said she knows she says she wouldn't buy one, she says, but she's loving how it's turning out, so she might have to. This image is a stunning one, I will say. It is absolutely gorgeous, the image. And I've enjoyed just seeing the bits that I've done. Um, and I've not even rolled it out yet to sort of see what the whole thing looks like finished. I've just sort of seen each section that's been left um, on my easel just before I've like popped it away or something. But yeah, it is an absolutely stunning one and I do really like it. Not all of these multi-placing are straight. I'm trying. Some of these diamonds are sort of different sizes. Uh, I often find that with rounds. Quite often there are different size round diamonds within it. So some of the colours especially I actually have to be really picky as to which diamonds I go to pick up um, and others I can get away with it a little bit more. Let's see if I can get those in. I'm trying to find a three that's at the end of the row so that I can just pick up three and not four. There we go. Okay, let's do single. Um, she said it's out of stock uh, the last time she checked, but she is hoping that it will come back in stock soon. She says, happy diamond painting. She also says, P.S. Sorry for the long comments. I'm all for long comments as much as I am for short comments. It's the variety that just makes it good. Um, and sometimes we just have more to say than other times. And sometimes it's just because we're a better typer of long comments than other people are. Um, but yeah. Keeping the mix up is good. So don't you worry about your long comments. You, you keep doing you. I'm just having to push a few of those diamonds down so that my other one actually sits in properly. Um, Cat Lady, she says she has got, a, she said, sorry, a long one. Uh, she says the interview she said that she had was horrid. Oh no. She said it was three hours long, conducted as a group interview of over 24 people. I hate those types of interviews. She says by the time interview had finished, she decided that she would decline if she was offered a position. Yeah, I'd have been tempted to just say my time's more valuable. See you later. Um, she says they were unable to make job offers on the day, even after stating that they would. Just a note. She was told that she would be told on the day. So that's kind of shady if they can't even get that right. Um, but they did call on Wednesday uh, to advise that she didn't get it this time, but to apply again. Uh, she said she won't be applying again. Good. You're better than than working for that sort of company. Um, especially if they deliver false promises at the interview stage without a very, very good valid reason, which by the sounds of it, the fact that they were interviewing 24 plus people all at one time and were happy to waste your time while other people were getting interviewed, but weren't happy to waste their own time by 
scheduling it as individual interviews. Group interviews can work for some job roles and in some instances, but it should be apparent one in the first instance and second, you shouldn't be wasting um, the interviewee's time while you're doing a process with multiple people um, because that's just disrespecting somebody else's time isn't it which is what infuriates me it's like what makes you more important it's like when the doctors run over by quite a you know quite a long time we're not talking a five ten minutes you know because something scupper things but if a doctor if you get there and a doctor's overrunning by like an hour it's like why did you not phone me why did you not tell me not to come in until three quarters of an hour later why is your time more important than mine <laughs> drives me batty anyway <clears throat> uh she says she's back on the job search again uh she says at the moment she is living without a lounge and a dining room and today she has no spare bedroom oh my goodness me um she says we're ha they're having problems with damp in the lounge so furniture has had to be moved between the dining room and the second bedroom um the lounge currently has holes in various places uh, and once a gas inspection has been carried out the whole floor will need to come up as as the joist needs replacing uh, she said so not the night nicest of weeks and next week could get worse uh, she says by the way she has completed the dragon's teacup painting and she will put a picture on Facebook. That interview process on top of your house at the moment and what you're having to deal with, I, I can completely understand how it feels like the worst week. Um, having to deal with just all of that all at once. Is there anywhere or anybody that you know or maybe even a hotel or a travel lodge that you could possibly go to just break the process up a little bit? Is that something that's feasible? I would be tempted that if, you know, the house is in that much chaos, while you still may be able to get in your bedroom and things like that, and you'll be you're like, no, I can get there, I can go to bed, I can sit on my bed and watch TV, you still subconsciously will know about all the chaos around you. And sometimes you just need that mental break from it all. So is it possible to either have somebody that you can go and spend the day with them. Just the daytime, so you'd still be, yes, you'd still have to go back to the chaos and to sleep in the chaos. Well, maybe you could team both suggestions up. But just to get you away from the environment for a length of time, sit in somebody else's chaos that is never as daunting as your own um, and just give your yourself a little mental break from it all because nipping out somewhere is not the same it sounds like you need a bigger length of time to get away from it all um or get the likes of just a travel lodge it's probably the cheapest sort of budget terrain hotel type place you know basic get a bed, get a chair, get a bathroom, but it's clean and it doesn't have chaos next door to it, the same way that you would do in your own house now, and just pack up your stuff and go and spend the evening in a different room than your own. Um, and maybe that will just give you the sort of break from it that you need to then come back and deal with the chaos have a little 
have a little hotel visit in your local town or maybe somewhere close. You don't want to be travelling too far, 10-15 minutes. Be a tourist in your own town for a little bit and see if that's something that maybe will just reset your internal clock for dealing with stuff <laughs> like that and just give yourself that little that little break from daily life for a little bit sorry these diamonds are one of the ones i have to be very very picky with um Kaz, she says she loves the new tray that I used last week. Thank you, Kaz. That is That was a sneak peek at a September colour. Uh, and I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit better sneak peeking that one. Um, because our September launch, our items for September um, is actually going to be our only launch for the next for the three months so september october and november so that tray color one is one that we will keep printing until demand is met so it's still a limited tray but it's not restricted to certain numbers limited um, we're going to keep printing it throughout those three months until right near the end of November and then we might get to the point where we say okay what stock we have in hand now is it we're not printing anymore um, but yeah if it's ordered in September October you're going to get one um, so yeah I'm quite confident in showcasing that one because it's not one that people may have to watch the clock for as much. Uh, whereas this one is a limited, but this one is next Friday. I'm not like telling you about it and then you have to remember a date over a month from now to be able to get it. Uh, but yeah, the zesty orange tray is next Friday's launch alongside the light blue it's actually a really really nice blue um in the admiral zest size and of course our mega trays which i am trying to get um, a few printed in each color they are able to be printed on our faster printer in fact one of our two faster printers that we now have uh, we do have two of them um, they print on that printer which is great because of course I can get more of a stock um, but because I just have the two printers um, I just have to wait for a colour or I'm waiting for a colour to finish and then I can change the colour and print the next colour so I will have ones available for launch and then of course if we need to print to order I will change the colours about on the printer each time um, until orders are all out for the mega tray. I've got quite a lot of colours that tend to get multi-placed on here but not too many it's not too blocky that I need a mega tray at the moment. My sections aren't big enough. Um, Kaz also says, she says she started on an ever moment blank canvas with the poured glue. Uh, she says she was halfway through her other canvases um, if she was halfway through her other canvases, she would have bought the F Moment poured glue instead. That's good to know. Getting myself all lined up with my Heaven and Earth design um, to switch over to a poured glue. Just trying to find all the bits, trying not to miss any little bits. And I'm using the diamonds that I'm placing down to nudge any multi-placing ones that are in the wrong place at the same time. 
trying to straighten it up as much as I can anyway. Uh, Diana, she says, hello, Rebecca. She says, just her two cents worth on the names. Uh, she says, just look at mine. So for anybody that doesn't know, Diana's is spelt D-A-I-A-N-A. -A. Um, she says, her name is pronounced Diana. The traditional spelling, however, was not what her parents had in mind. Um, her father actually chose her name uh, because he's loved the way it sounded since childhood. He said they are Italian uh, and only knew how to spell it the traditional Italian way, which is with the extra A in it because Italian is a phonetic language she said so she does know that it's not unique to her um, and it is or was until Princess Diana came along it was very popular in Italy she said if it was spelt the common way in Italy um, her name would have been pronounced Diana uh, but that's not what her parent wanted she said it was an amazing experience when she was there that everyone knew how to spell her name um, and that she didn't have to <laughs> um, didn't have to constantly explain the extra A. She said, but even teachers would insist that she was spelling her name wrong, even though she was in seventh grade. Uh, she said if there was, if that was the case, she said she certainly would have had no business being in seventh grade. Uh, I love it when teachers, especially when it comes to things like your own name, and they try to tell you you're wrong, and it's like, uh, no. Um, she says that one little letter does get her every time. Uh, she says, but she's learnt to appreciate that it is part of her heritage. Uh, and now she loves that it's different. I think anybody with a different kind of name, um, even if they do end up liking it, goes through a period of time where they don't. Uh, and I also think people with common names or common er names go through periods where they want it to be more unique. I know there was definitely a period in school, not a big period, but there was a period in school, I think, infant school, I think it was for me, um, where I actually spelt my name with a K-A-H for a while. I decided that I wanted my name to be a little bit different. I didn't want to change it. Um, it is always one thing. I've never wanted to change my name. Uh, I've always wanted to change my nickname, but not my name. My nickname when I was younger, I was often called Becky when I was younger. And I've never liked that. I don't mind Beck. Uh, that Will calls me, but I've never liked Becky. Don't know why, perfectly suits other people, just I've never liked it for myself. Um, but yeah, I went through a period of spelling it differently because I decided I wanted to just be a little bit more unique with it. So I think everybody you know, quite often, albeit sometimes fleeting, um, goes through a period where they'd like to change things a bit. Quite often as a child, it tends to settle a bit more as an adult, whether it just be that you, you know, accept fate or whether you appreciate the fact that it's different. It's either acceptance or appreciation for it being different and that just varies from person to person, I think. But yeah, it can definitely happen to those that have a less unique name as much as it can happen to those that have a unique one. Uh, different reasons, but 
grass is always greener and all that. Uh, Sue, she says, it isn't, isn't it funny? She says how everyone likes different multi places. She said she likes a four placer for square, um, but higher for round. Um, she says, hope everyone has a great Sunday. Yes, I love that everyone likes stuff different. And to be honest, I really like it that people also take the time to come on and say how they like, you know, something different or indeed the same. I like the fact that people, you know, don't just go, OK, somebody's given their opinion, I won't give mine. I like the fact that they give both um, because... There are some people in this world, and I'm often one of them on other videos. If it's not for me chatting on this video, I'm often not the one that would, you know, reply with my opinion. I'm more likely to speak my opinion than type my opinion. Um, but if my opinion differs, sometimes I will then question my opinion oh, I don't like it this way. Why don't I like it this way? And it's not that either person is wrong. It's that we are different. Um, so it's nice, you know, that people do come on and say, oh, I, you know, I'm the opposite. I like this. Because then that quiet person who hasn't said anything, who does like it the other way, gets that nice little bit of reassurance. Maybe I've been watching too many reels on the sort of thought processes and topics and things that people go through recently. It's coming across in this whip and waffle. Oh, Cher loves orange. She said, oh, she just heard what I said to her, uh, which I did say last week for her to watch out um, for the zesty tray. I've got, I, I was trying to work out what that was in the puddy. It's a little bit of trash from a diamond. It's not quite a full diamond. It's like a tiny stubby diamond and it got caught up in my putty. No wonder it wasn't picking up some of the real full size diamonds properly then. Um, so yes share we do listen uh, we do listen to requests people have for colors of trays sometimes things can take a little bit longer um, to implement either because of earlier requests um, that we already have in the pipeline sometimes it's just due to time um, so it's summer holidays at the moment so somebody actually asked for a page in the logbook for um, the dream, uh, sorry, the diamond dots conversion to have a page in the logbook so that they could have that sort of page of reference and stuff, which absolutely amazing idea because they asked it in the summer holidays. It's actually been able to be implemented within a couple of weeks of somebody asking um whereas sometimes you know we do hear what people request but it might take a little bit of time to implement just due to schedules or whatever else uh, but at the moment i am the one primarily packing advents um throughout the week um, but Megan is working on lots and lots of various other things that need to be done that she excels at. Um, and she much prefers variety. She much prefers things to change each day what she's doing. Um, and she actually moves about between tasks according to how she's feeling. You know, or just her general, you know, mood, should I say. Not mood as in moody, just general mood. She will change between tasks. Whereas I actually quite love the repeat process of packing the advent. Um, so, yeah, I've been doing that. But then 
I, I keep shouting ideas through to Megan to add to her things. We've also had another request from a subscriber today for an item which is one that has entered my head a few times um, for us to get and stock. But that's been one that's been time. Well, sometimes all I need to do is mention it to Megan and if she's in the right frame of mind, um, it becomes her mission to research and establish. And oh, she did. And I'm so happy. Um, so, yeah, we have even more exciting new things coming. Um, yeah, that I we got rather excited yesterday. <laughs> Um, because part of the said product turned up and we got to, Meg, I was packing Advent and got to, Megan got to have little messes and then I got to come in with more ideas for her to try out and then she'd mess a bit more. So yeah, it was a good day yesterday. Um, we've got quite a few Advents packed this last week, but there is still so many more to go. <laughs> Uh, when we decided to get lots and lots of items to be able to have lots of advent so nobody would be disappointed um, and it wouldn't sell out quickly and we expect to actually have some left at the end like we went big with the numbers so that we could get that guidance of how many people actually want an advent uh, yeah, I forget how long they take to pack. I forget how long they take to put in their bags and actually pack them. So I will be packing Advent for at least the whole month of August. And possibly some of the ones that we haven't sold yet. In fact, definitely some of the ones that haven't been sold yet. Um, I will be packing in September. So... It's all fun. Um, but yeah, it can be a little party in this house at times if we put the right music on to play while we're all doing our different little tasks. Um, we can actually be quite, quite productive in a day. Uh, Melissa, she says, good afternoon all. She says, great whip and waffle. She says she has exciting news awesome love good news uh she says her english england belongings will land on her doorstep on the 10th of august <gasps> this next week this next week and your goodies will be there she says she hasn't diamond painted in the last couple of days as she has had um Convunctivitis. No, I'm not even saying it right. Um, she says, Lola had a groom. And when she wants something, she lays on my head. Uh, and she thinks a bit of her hair got in her eye. Ooh. Um, she says it really hurts. She says she keeps telling herself not to rub her eye. Um, but she finds herself doing it. That's because you're telling yourself not to. It's the stubborn streak in you going, you can't tell me not to, even though it's you telling yourself. It's the other part of you going, why are you telling me what to do? You don't know me, but you do. <laughs> it's always harder when you tell yourself not to do something, to not do something. Um, but I hope it has got better, even if not now. Um, I hope it's on the way to getting better and all cleared up by the time your goodies arrive on the 10th and you get to stroke all your diamond painting stash again. It'll feel like you've been on a massive shopping spree, even though you've been on a shopping spree within your own stuff. <laughs> It's like your own shopping spree. It didn't cost you any extra money. Of course, you had to have it shipped over, but it didn't cost you anything more than that. Uh, KS says her favourite 
uh, on the topics of food is bacon, egg and cheese on a biscuit. Okay, what's your definition of biscuit? Because when you say on a biscuit, I'm thinking a digestive biscuit, which wouldn't fit bacon, egg and cheese on it. Um, so excuse my ignorance, but I need definition on a biscuit. Um, because I get the bacon, egg and cheese on a balm or on toast on a bread roll of some sort I don't get what a biscuit is so do please tell me um Jeanette says hi Rebecca she says multi-placing she said is looking good uh, she said when you mentioned advent calendar for September she said it's a birthday gift for herself um she says she has a little problem though with this situation uh, is if she has to if she has to hide it until December who's going to remind her where she put it uh, she says she's recently separated so she is by herself um, Okay, so Blossom Chops has replied, who's Jackie? She says she's going to ask her bestie um, to look after hers because she knows she can't be trusted not to open all of them otherwise. So if you know that you are going to be perfectly fine if you put it away, the only fear you have is not knowing where it is then by all means email me uh, and I will be more than happy to remind you where you put it if you forget. Alternatively, um, there are many of the ladies on Facebook who will also be more than happy to remind you if you are on the Facebook group, they will be more than happy to remind you where you put it. Um, so whichever one works for you, either grab one of our ladies in the Facebook group um, who is happy and willing to take on the responsibility of remembering for you or email me and I can always search for your email to be able to let you know where it was or you can even email me and then um, search your sent items in your emails to know where you put it like it's like an email to yourself so a few different suggestions for you there and hopefully one of them will work for you in fact why am I tipping it into the lid as if there's not many of them but the tray is definitely easier and there's it's not like there's only two of them so we'll just have them all spread out in a tray and see if that works. There we go. There is one I do need to put into the lid. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Um, Tamara, she says she has a slow cooker recipe that a hubby asks for frequently. Uh, she said, in fact, she placed in a cooking contest with it. She said, it's quite complicated, she says, but here goes. Uh, if you put chicken, whole pieces, legs, quarters, etc., um, in the cooker and pour a bottle of zesty Italian salad dressing over it, cover it and cook it on low all day. Wow, <laughs> so complicated. Even I can manage that. Uh, she says she likes it with rice, uh, but Dave likes it with egg noodles. Uh, she said she is excited to receive her advent calendar. Uh, she said when they were kids, they would take road trips and stop at every souvenir stand that they could find. Um, 
Shuckers was a big deal then, she says, with the very best pecan rolls and divinity candy. She said, anyway, some of these places had what they called grab bags, little brown paper bags with mysteries in them. She said she always loved the grab bags. Uh, and the advent calendar purchase reminds me, or reminds her, she says, of these good times. Um, and not having a clue what she's bought. She said, thanks for reminding me of such a good time. Oh, awesome. And you'll be able to remember them throughout the whole of December when you open your little little brown bag each day um, to see to see what diamond painting item you've got and I will be opening mine uh, I will be opening one throughout the course of my December advent event as we do the diamond painting um, last year the numbers were just too low for me to do it uh, but as I say we've gone We've gone big on both the advent and the diamond painting this year um, so that we can get an understanding of what sort of numbers people want. Uh, we actually find a lot of the times when we launch a new item now, um, we overstock what we get. And sometimes it will last a while um, until that item of course goes um, the stock goes and sometimes we're still ordering new stock really quickly so it's working it's working uh, and eventually we figure out what sort of numbers work for everybody and of course there's quite a few things we manufacture ourselves so um, we just have to produce more if the numbers go high Right, I'm just trying to squeeze the odd diamond there that doesn't look straight, but I am going to call that done for today. Uh, I do know that might be a little bit shorter than normal, um, but I do have quite a few videos that I need to film for the upcoming week. So oh, that pot looks so much better than it does really zoomed in. Um, so even if I fully zoom out, move my computer for now and my case even what you can see there just it looks amazing I can't wait to roll this out but I am now on the last bit so I will be adding in fact let's do it while we're here because it's something I need to do anyway so while you guys finish up whatever section you're doing while you're watching this video ready to ready to either watch another video or do that daily task that you've been telling yourself you'll do and you've not done yet let's put the cover paper over now normally I would move this row up so that I had a nice straight line here but I do tend to do it two rows up when I get to finishing a painting. I feel like it finishes that little bit quicker uh, and I enjoy it just that little bit more. So I've got the cover paper on now. So for my next section, what I will do is I will peel these two off and then I will actually take these two up and have a look so I've got quite a bit of pink here but then looking at this section here I've got quite a bit of that zero AB um, so I'd probably put this about here and start by doing this and working up the top and then if I find I start hitting this I will move this further back or I will do everything up to these colours and then I'll actually move this back over to sort of cover those bits up and those bits will be done if that makes sense but I tend to work taller 
when I'm finishing a painting because I'm just so eager to get that top row. That's what it is. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me for this waffle. Um, got many exciting videos coming up in the next week and of course launch on Friday but I will speak to you all again soon. <laughs>